Uh, colorectal cancer is the second leading cause of cancer-related deaths in the United States. However, early detection almost always uh, results in complete cure. There is no single cause of colon cancer, but identification of non-cancerous lesions in the colon is the single most effective way to uh, eliminate your risk of developing colon cancer. Colonoscopies are the tool that we use to identify these non-cancerous benign lesions and hopefully um, reduce or decrease your risk of developing colon cancer. There's not always symptoms related to uh, the identification of colon cancer, but there are some things that you could look for. Some of those things include a change in your bowel habits, which might include uh, blood in your stool, diarrhea, constipation. You could have abdominal pain or tenderness in your lower abdomen. You might also experience intestinal blockage. You could have uh, identification of anemia or weight loss for unknow of unknown reason or cause. Colorectal cancer affects people generally over the age of 50, uh, but other um, persons could be affected younger than that. Also, it can affect patients who have a, a history of colon cancer or have a family history of cancer, particularly people who have had a history of ovarian, breast, or uterine cancer. Someone who had, had some of these um, conditions does not mean that they're going to develop colon cancer. The most important message is that if you are at the if you are having these have any of these risk factors that you are screened appropriately for your colon cancer risk. The treatment of colorectal cancer um, depends on the stage of your colon cancer, but typically a patient is going to uh, have surgery as part of their treatment. Now, uh, chemotherapy could also be included as treatment and patients who have uh, rectal cancer most always have um, radiation included as part of their therapy. Since we don't know what the causes of colon cancer are, there are some things that you can do to help decrease your risk, uh, which could include staying fit overall, uh, including exercising your day, uh, avoiding alcohol and tobacco, uh, also pr getting the screening that is a uh, the screening that is appropriate for your age and following those guidelines.